Okay, so down here near the dojo, just a random little empty area there. A waterfall there. And of course, the Makahita Dojo itself. This is the Makahita Dojo. Only through rigorous training can we become stronger. Okay, well, give me the info there, Makahita. Uh, let's... Let's go dojo drills. If you have a dojo ticket, you can try out dojo drills. Dojo drills are more about improving your level and moves, and less about how to battle in a dungeon. You can expect to grow a lot. So that is basically like a way of just quickly leveling up uh, your Pokemon, pretty much like an original game. Uh, dojo was built to support rescue teams. The Pokemon in the rooms are all volunteers. They all chose to volunteer because they wanted to support rescue teams. Well, that's uh, nice though. So you've got to get stronger for them too, to show them how grateful you are. But what about tricks of the trade? In tricks of the trade, you can practice the techniques that you'll use in dungeons. And unlike with dojo drills, which you need a ticket for, entrance is free. You can try the training as many times as you like for free. What's more, if you complete it, you can get a reward. So give it your best shot. So you know what? We are actually going to do tricks of the trade. Very useful to do because just learn some basic stuff, but we get some very useful items as a reward. So yeah, we'll definitely uh, do the tricks of the trade. Might as well do that now. Just to get some free stuff more than anything. So let's just uh, quickly go through this. So use moves. Could not be simpler. Alright, let's work on moves. By the way, you've got some different moves than normal, but that's just for practice. Now go ahead and use a move on me. Come a step close to me and then press A to use a move. Okay. Simple stuff. Of course, we already know how to do that, but as I said, it's very useful to do these um, tricks of the trade things anyway. Uh, let's just use Tail Whip, why not? Three more, alright, let's use Tail Whip again. And Tackle. And one more Tackle for good luck. There we go. Alright, okay, congratulations, you completed the training. Keep in mind, when you use a move too often, you'll run out of PP for it. Mm. And that's something to bear in mind, because you can't just do a bog standard attack in this game anymore, which is definitely one of the bigger changes compared to the original games. So there we go, we got some apples for a reward for just simply doing that, so yeah, definitely worth doing. So you know what? We're going to go through the entire list, especially considering we get a reward for free reviver seeds just for doing this, like, little tutorial that we already know what to do, but... But for free reviver seeds? <laughs> I'm definitely not passing up this opportunity. So, some dash training. Alright, let's do it. Oh my, this is one very enclosed corridor. How did I get in here in the first place? I don't see a way in or out. Oh god, I hope I'm not trapped. Oh god, I'm running all the way down here. I'm trapped! Help me! Ah, am I trapped in here? Nope, we're alright. There was apparently a hidden way in after all. We were trapped in a very narrow corridor for all of time. <laughs> so we got some Reviver Seeds. Nice, three of them as well. I always like to stock up on, res on Reviver Seeds in like in the original game, so I'll definitely do the same in this one as well. Anyway, push a Pokemon. You can push teammates down next to you. Uh, yeah, when you're trying to escape from a monster house into a corridor, for example. Your belly empties faster while you're pushing, though. Uh, which I guess makes sense, actually. So that is definitely a new thing in this game, uh, compared to the original. And as I said in uh, when I was talking about it, uh, whichever dungeon it was earlier on this recording, uh, definitely would be very handy for a scenario like a monster house and I want to flee if I don't want to get ganged up all of a sudden. Uh, one more. Boop. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Another uh, tricks of the trade completed. 
uh, get some escape orbs. Yeah, let's keep on trading. Uh, pass by a teammate, which is basically just hold down uh, B. Ooh, for a gold ribbon as well. Nice. So this is the original way. Like in, in, like in the original game, at least, how you would pass. So it's nice to see that this is still an option. You just have to hold down the button. Which I have to say definitely took me a bit of getting used to when I first played the demo of this game. You know, like I was too used to, you know, just moving in the opposite direction to swap with the with my partner, only to end up pushing them back. I and mean, they had to hold down the B button. But yeah, I'm used to it now, so that definitely makes sense. And that's quite a nice change to have, you know, like switching between those two ways of moving. Anyway, we've got ourselves a gold ribbon. Ooh, nice. Some nice, easy money there. And then uh, change directions without moving, so holding Y, and you get four Max Elixirs for that. Four Max Elixirs! Man, you get a lot of good stuff just for doing this. So yeah, I'd say the earlier you do the Makahita Dojo, like now, the better. Okay. Those two Makahita are my little brothers. They volunteer to help. Okay. Press Y, and again, and again, and again. Oh, there we go. See, you can press Y to turn and face Pokemon on any side of you. You can also just face whichever direction you want. Try holding Y and keeping left, uh, pressing left to keep changing the direction you're facing. Okay. Simple stuff. Now I'll have you battle my little brothers. First, attack the one that's awake. Next, take out the sleeping Makahita. If you don't deal with the one that's awake first, you'll get attacked on the next turn. You won't pass if that happens, so be careful. Okay, so we've got to attack the uh, the awake one first. Okay, so let's just use tackle. And also tackle you as well. <laughs> kind of rude to knock out a sleeping Pokemon like that, but, you know, it's all for training purposes, so I'm okay with that. And just changing direction doesn't count as moving, so it's always nice to know. And there we go, for doing something as simple as that. We get four Max Elixirs, which is very, very nice to have. Then we've got Use Items, which uh, will give us some Bronze Dojo tickets. So we can actually uh, check out what uh, the Bronze Dojo tickets do. So, Use Items. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, head to the right. Okay. I see myself an Orem Berry there. That's an Orem Berry. Yep, let's pick it up. Uh, let's keep on going. All right. Oh, ow. That's rude. <laughs> but not to worry. We got ourselves that orange berry we picked up. How convenient. There we go. Keep on moving, and we got ourselves a nice juicy apple. Keep on moving. Oh, another trap. Oh, it's a hunger trap. Ooh, that's a new trap, isn't it? I don't remember that being in the original game. Uh, well, <coughs> we probably don't need to eat it, like in normal circumstances, because we only got down to 89. But you know, for the purpose of this training, I will do as you're told. 50. Yeah, it does, sir. Yeah, it does uh, fill up 50, so same as the original. So that makes sense. And there we go. Simple stuff. And there we go. We got ourselves some bronze dojo tickets for our reward. And we got one more to do. Moving diagonally. Oh, a little too far. So, for some slumber ones. Okay. So, yep, yeah, just by holding down R, we can move diagonally. We can move diag... Di we can move diagonally. <laughs> Ooh, next we're going to move on working diagonally. To those stairs, okay, yep. Yeah. But I'm surrounded by a lot of those traps. 
but there are some hunger traps around the stairs. And those are specifically, uh, well, specially designed, rather, uh, specially designed just for the dojo. If you step on even one, you will be able to move, and this lesson will end. Ooh, right, okay. Right, so we have to move diagonally. But this should be... No problem. In the middle there, in the middle there, and down we go through the stairs. Nice. I will not forget that uh, Maka heater as long as I'm not constantly playing in auto mode. <laughs> and we get some slumber ones. Uh, no, we don't want to keep training because that's it for now. So now that we've got some tickets, we might as well check out the, the, the dojo drills. Oh, this is your first time trying dojo drills. You'll need to give me a dojo ticket if you want to try dojo drills out. Oh, the better the ticket you use, the more effective the drills will be. Okay. Well, I've only got a bronze ticket right now. Okay, I see. So, bronze gives you 50 seconds and a big boost to experience and move experience. 55 gives us a huge boost. Uh, well, silver gives us 55 seconds, rather. And the gold gives us 60 seconds and a super boost. Okay, so, obviously... The better the tickets, the uh, the more you'll benefit from it. But I think we can still make this work. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use a ticket for each of us. And we'll keep one spare for now. So, Jono will take on the Water Maze. So, yeah, we take on the Water Maze. But, yeah, unless it changes later on in the game, this is definitely a lot different than the original game. Defeat the enemies within the time limit. You can get a lot of experience when you use a super effective move. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff in dojo drills, just go for it. There are special rules so you'll walk super fast and you can revive as much as you need to, even if you don't have a reviver seed. Uh, use auto mode to head for those enemies to get tons of experience. Right, okay. Right. Range attack, go! Ah, oh no you don't, oh Maldo. Auto mode! Auto mode. Okay, so just got to do this very quickly, although I think I need to move slightly. Yep. Let's use water gun. Yep. And you move conveniently right in front of me. Thank you very much, fan Pete. Hey! <laughs> Don't you water gun me. My water gun is a lot better. Oh, a Gligar. Alright. Uh, We've got uh, a couple of seconds left. Oh, God. Quick, quick, quick. We could probably get, maybe, this Glygon. And quick, quick, we can knock you out! Yeah! <laughs> oh, we just about made it. I know I'm about to die a little bit. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Good God, that is a hell of a boost. Look at that. Straight up to level 10. That is absolutely insane. Okay, so I get to learn uh, withdraw if I wanted to, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna bother right now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give up on withdraw. So yeah, it just shows just for 50 seconds. You get a huge, huge boost in uh, experience. So yeah, this dojo has changed a lot compared to the original games. And yeah, this is a good way to leveling up quickly. Okay. Quickly. Face the, the face the wall while. Oh, can't we go? Oh no. Ugh. I was trying to move diagonally for some reason. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <coughs> Keep on going, Torchic. Ooh, a Caesar. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, more while. There's a bunch of Pokemon down here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a few Pokemon in the row here. Oh, here we go. Let's keep on going. Keep on going, Torchic. There's loads of Pokemon. Keep on going. Keep on going. There's more Pokemon. There's more Pokemon lining up. Oh, they're just forming an orderly queue. They're being totally British here and uh, queuing. Nice. Oh, time's up. Oh, that's a shame. But that was a good, like, little section there. 
Oh, not quite as much as uh, Squirtle, which I guess is to be expected, but still, level 9. That's pretty good going. And it just shows just how useful that will be, especially for lower level Pokemon. If I want to train up some low level Pokemon to help us out in our, like, for our rescues. As long as we have enough tickets, the Makahita Dojo is definitely a good place to go to, so... Definitely worth checking out. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the items that we picked up. So we've got a bunch of apples and reviver seeds and all that. Uh, so we've got a gold ribbon, which we can sell instantly to uh, the Cacleon store. And we also got a slumber wand. Waving at a Pokemon makes that Pokemon sleep for a while, so... Yeah, that could be useful, actually. So, I think what I'll do, we'll store... Well, let's select all of them, except let's just... Oh, oh. I mean to uh, press. I pressed the wrong button. That's okay. We'll take. We'll take one apple. Maybe a max ether. Maybe an Oran berry, and maybe a tiny reviver seed. Oh, and also that gold river, so I can sell it. And that will do for now. Uh, oh, I think that was telling me about the apples. No, nope, we just need the one. And let's grab ourselves... Yeah, let's just grab all the slumber ones. Why not? Right, let's go and sell that gold river for some quick and easy money. Uh, sell items. Let's sell the gold river for two and a half thousand pokey. Nice. Is that slightly more than the original game? Weren't they worth two thousand? I'm going to have to double check on that, actually. I thought they were worth 2,000 in the original game. Ooh, I'm going to have to look at that after this recording. Anyway, let's deposit all this money. Okay, so that's taken care of all of that. So let's actually now do a few jobs. So we've got a bunch in... Oh, actually, no, before we do... Before we do, we've got some mail in the mailbox. We should uh, have a little read of that first before we go. Once we take a job, let's go to the dungeon and clear up the Pokemon's worries. Right, but before we do, we've got some mail. Uh, check the mail. Let's have a quick look. Ah, yes. Pokemon news. Welcome to our rescue team. Uh, to all new members, your badge has the power to send back to town any Pokemon you've rescued. Just hold the badge up and it does the rest. By advancing through your adventure, you will be rewarded points that raise your team's ranking. Aim for the bronze rank for now. Nice. And of course we've got accepted jobs there, so we've got three in Thunder Wave K, plus one in Tiny Woods. So uh, yeah, let's do uh, let's do some jobs in one of those dungeons. Well that's it for this video, but I've got more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX coming up very soon. So for now, thanks very much for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.